here in the i button and in description box below you will get the complete playlist of z transform welcome to video number 12 and in this particular video we are going to start second method of evaluation of inverse z transform and the method name is inversion integral method this method is also known as residue method in previous video that is in video number 11 we evaluate inverse z transform by the help of first method which was partial fraction method in that video we solved a problem based on that particular method in this particular video we are going to solve we are going to understand how to evaluate inverse z transform by the help of inversion integral method or you can say by residue method and along with that we will take a problem and solve that so that you will get a very good idea how to solve such problems so let us start evaluation of in inverse z transform by inversion integral method or residue method so it is the inverse z transform of u of z okay we are finding the inverse z transform of u of z which is given by u n equals to this u n is what inverse z transform of u of z okay this is equals to 1 upon 2 pi i integral under the curve c u of z into z power n minus 1 dz which is again equals to sum of residues of u of z into z power n minus 1 at the poles which are inside the contour c drawn according to the region of convergence given in the problem okay i am repeating this once again this uh, inverse z transform of u of z is given by u and that is by this formula 1 upon 2 pi i integration under curve c u of z into z power n minus 1 dz which is equals to sum of residues of u of z into z power n minus 1 at the poles it means we have to find the poles okay then we have to find residues at that pole then we need to sum those residues so that we will get the u n and what is u n inverse z transform so we need to find the poles first then as per the poles we need to find the residue of u of z into z power n minus 1 then for various residues we need to sum all the residues okay suppose you have two poles then we will find two residues then we will sum both the residues so that we will get the value of un now we will take a problem and then we will see how to solve such problems the question says using inversion integral method find the inverse z transform of 10 z upon z minus 1 into z minus 2 this is nothing but u of z i repeat this once again this is nothing but u of z so we can write let u of z that is equals to 10 z upon z minus 1 into z minus 2 which is given in the problem now here we have z minus 1 and z minus 2 when we equate this to 0 you will get z equals to 1 when we equate this to 0 you will get z equals to 2 so we can say those are my poles we need to equate this to 0 to get the value of z again we need to equate this to 0 so that we will get another value of z and what this signifies this signifies the pole of u of z so we can say poles of u of z is z equals to 1 and z equals to 2 okay so we can say here we have two poles at z equals to 1 and z equals to 2 now using u of z in the inversion integral you will get u n okay inversion of inverse the transform of u of z will give us u n and that that is equals to we have the formula that is 2 pi i integral under the curve c u of z into z power n minus 1 d z we have this formula now this is equals to what this is equals to sum of residues of u of z into z power n minus 1 at we have two poles that is at z equals to 1 and z equals to 2 so here we will write at z equals to 1 and 
z equals to 2. Now we will try to find the residue at various poles. So first we will write residue of u of z into z power n minus 1 at first pole that is at z equals to 1. This is going to be you need to uh, mark the formula that is you need to remember this formula that is limit z tends to here we have 1. Since here we have 1, so we are going to write z minus 1. Suppose here we have z equals to minus 1. So here it is going to be z plus 1. Okay. Into we have u of z that is 10 z upon z minus 1 into z minus 2. z power n minus 1. Okay. Here you can see. Here the power of z is what? 1. So 1, 1 get cancelled. We are left with z power n. So here we can say that is limit z tends to 1. Here we have z minus, okay. Here z minus 1, z minus 1 will get cancelled. What is left? That is 10 into, here we have z power 1 and here we have minus 1. So both part will get cancelled. What is left? The z power n into z power n upon, here we have z minus this part left. So, on putting the limit that is z equals to 1, 10 into 1 power n, 1 power n is 1. Here we have 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. So, here we can say that is this is equals to minus 10. Okay, again I am saying when you put z equals to 1 here, this is going to be 1 and this is going to be minus 1. So, here we are having that is minus 10. Similarly, if we find residue of u of z into z power n minus 1 at pole z equals to 2. In that case, here we, we will write limit z tends to 2. Here we need to write z minus 2. Suppose here we have z equals to minus 2. Then here we would have written like z plus 2. Okay. Now, u of z that is 10 z upon z minus 1 into z minus 2 into z power n minus 1 z power n minus 1 here we can say z minus 2 z minus 2 will get cancelled what is left here that is limit here we can write z tends to 2 here we have z into 10 into z power n upon what is left that is z minus 1 Okay, so on putting the limit z equals to 2, you will get 10 into 2 to the power n upon 2 minus 1 that is 1. So we can say the first residue value is minus 10 and residue at z equals to 2 is 10 into 2 to the power n. Hence, we can say u n equals to sum of residues that is this plus this 10 into 2 to the power n plus minus of 10. Here we can say 10 is common. What is left here that is 2 to the power n and what is left here that is minus 1. Okay. So, this is the final answer where n equals to 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.